Congratulations, kid. That swamp detail is a pip. Maybe I'll be lucky and not get wet over my head. Yeah, when you get through scraping the muck and slime off you tonight, check with me. I got a bottle of anti-fever serum cashed away. Thanks a lot, old-timer. That's swell of you. Well, somebody got to keep your recruits on your feet or these details will be getting around too fast. I'll see you later, Ken. Sahana owns a lot of this island. I thought we'd give him a look at what's going on. We who have Terrell Paggle's interest at heart are vitally concerned of what you're doing, Mr. Walker. Captain Hawthorne was kind enough to bring me along, and I intend to see everything while I'm here. Well, we're glad to have you. The only trouble is there's not much to look at. Our most important results are a lot of facts and figures on paper so far. But it's a tough job getting them. Walker has to bring up equipment to build a real bridge across a stretch of marsh and quicksand so treacherous even a seal couldn't cross it. <laughs> is that so? Well, would you like to look around? Yes, by all means. How many natives are you using? Only about 30 now. That's all we have equipment for. Let's start over here. I congratulate you, Captain. Your constabulary is the best discipline organization I've ever seen. You should have seen them when I took over. The orneriest bunch of wildcats ever thrown together. Smashing equipment, cracking up planes, letting nothing stand in the way of their personal feuds. Take Slats Harrington. He was one of the toughest of them all. Now he saves his fighting for the job he's doing. That's flats for you. He don't just fly in, he makes an entrance. Hiya, boys. Old mill pricking all right, Slats? Yeah, fine. Sure. How's everything out in the stick? Great. Walker's digging into the jungle. The natives are full of rice and everybody's happy. Give me a cigarette, George. Yeah. What's that report we got about sniping? Oh, that. Somebody takes a couple of pot shots now and then. You know how those things are. When you guys start moving equipment out there? Pretty soon. I understand there's a boatload of junk coming in this afternoon, eh, Slice? Sure. If by junk you mean that returning hero, Horseshoe Donovan. Horseshoe? So you don't seem like two months since he left. No. Boy, I wished I was a hero. Hero? That lucky stiff for exceptional bravery in that he did, while on solo flight, bomb the stronghold of that notorious bandit Mononui. Right. He was lost and he dropped the bombs to lighten his load. He should have got a firing squad instead of a medal. And as for Mononui, no one even knows such a guy exists. Just the same, he did break up Mononui's army. And he is a sergeant pilot. All right, so he's a sergeant pilot and I'm a rear rank private. But if you guys want to see Horseshoe cut down the size, you'll be on the dock this afternoon when he walks down the gangplank and sees Lalana on my arm. He'll bust the blood vessel when he finds out you've been chasing his girl all over the island. He's been away. Well, if you don't, I'm out a hundred bucks. Sixty of my own and the forty I want from you guys in the crap game. Remember? Yeah, I remember. Well, what do you say, Lalana? Right, he can sure pick out the dresses, can he? Do you like it? Like it, honey. Single O. You sure can fill out those glad rags. Well, she will be jealous, no? Jealous? He'll burn like a torchlight parade. Here he comes. Oh, Horseshoe, it's lovely. I had no idea it was so beautiful. Hiya, boys. Hiya, Horseshoe. Hello, Private. Looks like our plans went a little haywire. Much haywire. All from your fault. We're going to make Horseshoe jealous. Well, he isn't jealous. He has another girl. Well, you still got me, ain't you? You. What do I want with you, a private? Why, you cheap little... Give me that dress. This cheap dress, you think... <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
Looks like a good night to get rid of that bar whiskey. Hi. Right. I hear about you and Harrington. Harrington? He's nobody. He's a constabulary man, isn't he? He knows what's going on at the outpost. So does Horseshoe, and he's much nicer. Yes. I'm not interested in the man's qualifications. I want to know if the work has slowed down. Is the constabulary worried? Go to work. understand the necessity for speed. Already, Walker has pushed far into the jungle. The equipment which arrived by today's boat will enable him to conquer the swamp and to complete his preliminary survey. And then? Then the Americans descend on us with an army of steam shovels, and his peaceful island is a bedlam. <laughs> At least, gentlemen, we can be frank with one another. What happens to the island is a little concern. Our problem is to prevent the work under the present setup. All this talk about oil wells is only a spokescreen. Walker is definitely a government engineer sent out here from Washington to determine the practicability of Tarokaga as an air base. If an air base is to be established, other countries should be allowed to bid for this side, no? I am assured that one country will double the American bid. At least double. And so to business, gentlemen. Where is Kahano? Kahano? Kahano is Captain Hawthorne's guest on an inspection tour of the island. <laughs> that is really fun. The chief of the constabulary showing one of us what is being done to protect Walker. <laughs> A wise precaution. The fact that Walker is being protected proves the importance of the work. The constabulary can very easily ruin our plans. Nothing can ruin our plans. Nothing except our own stupidity. We must delay Walker and his engineers wherever possible. Meantime, Consolidating our own gains against the time when we shall control the island. You, Holo, shall return at once to the outpost. Something more effective than sniping must be arranged. Very simple. All our equipment is in this flimsy storeroom. If it should catch fire tomorrow night... <laughs> uh, Holo, you're priceless. I'll be sure you'll remember that when we divide the spoils. <laughs> the handful of constabulary must not be allowed to interfere. You gentlemen know what has to be done to this end. There must be no half-hearted measures, mind you. To be ruined by a few planes and a couple of bombs. With you, Mona Nui, to lead the way, there's no chance of failure. Mona, Mona Nui. Nui. Thank you, gentlemen. I shall do my best to deserve your confidence. Just kind of a gift, I guess. You either got it or you ain't. How do you take me, for instance? I'm not the best-looking guy in the world, but I'm absolute dynamite to women. With my natural ability, that number on the boat was a rapper. Why, fellas, do you know? There I'm standing on that... Hey, Slack! Where are you going? Come on in. Hi, you boy, all right? Hey. The side of your face is all red. You ain't got a toothache, have you? No, I ain't got a toothache. My health and physical condition is okay. Well, that's fine, because I was worried. You know a funny thing? Just now when you were coming in, for a minute I thought you were trying to sneak away. Ain't that so, boy? Right, that's right. so. 
Yeah, like you're ashamed of something. You ain't got nothing to be ashamed of, have you? Nothing but the company I keep. Yeah, I know. I saw you at the start. A fellow's got to be careful about things like that. That's especially a guy like you. You know, who's down at the bottom of the ladder, sort of working his way up. <laughs> What's the idea of the horse last to Oh, nothing. I was just thinking Well, about... be on your way. You make too much noise. Wait a minute. Stick around, buddy. I ain't heard no curfew yet. Are you forgetting who's who around here, mister? All right. Hide behind your stripes, you big ape. And you better keep on hiding behind him if you want to keep that grass jaw of yours in one piece. Attention! I want to warn all you constabulary men about fighting. There's been entirely too many complaints from the townspeople, and the commanding officers decided to put a stop to it. A police detail will patrol the town at all hours. And any constabulary men caught fighting will be severely dealt with. As you were. Listen, Slats. You know, you got me all wrong. Here I come home with my heart full of sunshine and gladness and you. Well, you don't even act like a gentleman. Now I ain't a gentleman, huh? There you go, see? Why don't you relax? You know, I got something pretty nice fixed up for you. Uh, I suppose you brought me back some poison ice. Boy, you're tough. Listen, you saw the girl that came off the boat with me, didn't you? Kind of sensational, huh? Come to think of it, I did notice some frail get off that boat. It looked just like a girl to me. Hair, eyes, arms, and legs, and, well, you know, that sort of thing. All right, skip it. But here's the point. There's another one just like her. And did I give you a bill? Boy, like nobody's business. Where'd you pick them up? I didn't pick them up. They picked me up. You know how it is. Sure. You were the only guy on the boat. Okay, skip it. No skin off my nose. What's her name? Who? The other one. Oh, Miss Price. Margaret Price. She's a pal of my gals. I'm trying to keep them apart so I can get along with Marcia. Marcia. Oh, Marcia Bradford. Pretty, ain't it? She's an anthropologist. No kid. I'm going to meet her tonight at nine. Teach her the lure of the island. Good, eh? Huh? All right, that's what you get for going around with class. Well, I don't understand. A class item. It can't be on the level that she felt for you. Listen, chump. I'm a young soul with unplumbed debts. She told me that. You're not a young soul. You're an old heel. Hail the country hero. Oh, so I'm going to have trouble with you, too, eh? Not at all, Sergeant. Will you join me? Sure, why? I've just taken this cafe over since you were here the last time. I'd like to salute the hero. Oh, uh, your name is... Uh... Morton. Tom Morton. Okay, if that's the way you feel about it, Mr. Morton, all right with me. You, uh, you are a hero. Well, they did give me the Constabulary Medal of Honor. <clears throat> oh, the Medal of Honor. And well, there's no doubt about it. Let's see. Oh, yes. You did something with a plane. Well, in a way, I dropped three or four bombs on a two-bit bandit by the name of Mona Nui. Nui? What's the color of this Mona Nui? He was killed? <laughs> he ain't. He must be still running. Well, uh, what should we drink to? The Constabulary Medal of Honor? Yeah. Well, let's give Mona Nui a drink. After all, if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't have got it. By all means. Good Mona Nui. Certainly. Miss Bradford. Room number seven. No, no, not Miss Bradford. Miss Price. Oh, Miss Price. Number four. Thank you. Hey, you got a dictionary back there? A dictionary? Yeah, yeah, a dictionary. Oh, yes, sir. Antique. <laughs> I've been one all my life. Come in.
Well, young man, what do you want? You come here to make faces? Yes, ma'am. I mean, no, ma'am. You see, I, well, I just happened to knock on the wrong door, that's all. There's a friend of mine living here, and I wanted to... Oh, uh, just a moment, please. Uh, apparently, you belong to the island constabulary. Could you tell me how I'd get in touch with Captain Hawthorne? Yes, ma'am. He ain't... I mean, he's not here now. Not here? No, ma'am. He's making an inspection. He'll be here the first thing in the morning. Oh, very good. Then perhaps you'll take a note to him. Young man, you look distinctly unwell to me. No kidding. I mean, do I? Indeed you do. Are oh, you pale? You're trembling. You're coming down with something. Yes, ma'am. I'm coming down with both feet on a guy's neck. The thing that don't give him the cute hand wall. The thing that don't give him the cute hand wall. The thing that don't give him the cute hand wall. Catch him, no? Cause I'm out. You bother Melican lady? I'll kick your teeth in. Chop, chop. No, no. Melican lady. Coffee? No. Oh. He just wants to know what time he wants your coffee in the morning. It's the custom down here to wake you up with a small black. Oh, is that it? Tell him eight o'clock. Catch him? Eight. Yes, he sounds say, mm, look, chat pot. Okay, dope. We were about to come to blows. I'm certainly glad you happened along. I didn't happen along. I was looking for you. You're gonna have finesse. That's all you need. The light touch. One gander at that babe on the boat, and I said to myself, boy, I think you've got something there. So what did I do? Did I tell her so? Not much. I gave her that absent treatment. A loop. Get it? And would you believe it that within three days that I... I love it. But I'm surprised to find so many Americans in the constabulary. Well, you see, me and Horseshoe was in the Marines down here. Our enlistment ran out. We liked the island, so we decided to hook up with the island. Oh, uh, something like the Army, hmm? Well, sort of. It's really the native police. But most of the officers and non-coms are guys just like me. Yes, I noticed Jack Donovan had sights on his place. Yeah, but that's a long story. You want it outside. Sergeant Donovan's in trouble. Horseshoe? Yes, he says to hurry. Pardon me a minute, will you, beautiful? Certainly, but I thought you relished the idea of Donovan being in trouble. I do, when I put him in it. But he's just stupid enough to get himself in a real jam unless I look after him. Oh, so it's you, you snake in the grass, saying you're in trouble. Why, you double crook. Ah, uh, ah, uh, uh, wait a minute. Where's all this sunshine and gladness, sweetheart? Never mind that. Take off your coat. You mean it? You're going to get out from underneath those stripes of glass? Boy, I've been waiting for this chance for a long time. Hey, you two, what's coming off? Well? Uh, good evening, Lieutenant. It's a nice evening. A bit warm, but, uh, but nice. Yeah. Nice night to throw you birds on the brig. Fighting, eh? Oh, no. Nothing like that. Fighting? Me and Slats, old pals like us? <coughs> well, you, you see, sir, uh, we, uh, 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 I was showing him a new dance. The uh, latest thing in the States. Uh, Big Apple, they call it. Okay. Let's see it. You want us to? I want to see you two do the Big Apple right now. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, kind of complicated, like. Trip it again, boys. 
Heavenly Twins. Hiya, Horseshoe. What's the matter with that guy? Somebody steal his marbles? Not his marbles. His gal. Come on, while I hustle up a cup of java and I'll tell you all about it. Be with you in a minute. Sergeant, welcome to Fever Flats. Thanks, glad to be back. Yeah, you liar. You have a good trip? Couldn't have been better. Well, I've been due to get away for a long time myself, but I guess I'm stuck here. Well, how's the job coming? Oh, we're moving along. Couldn't do it, though, without you constabulary fellows to ride herd on the natives. Any talk about it back home? Well, I heard a guy on the radio. He was wondering about maybe they ought to fortify the island for something. Oh, by the way, I cut this out of a magazine for you. Surveys are at the present being conducted in more than one locality with a view to locating air bases in the South Sea. There's a consensus of opinion among military and naval men that our first line of defense is really out there in the ocean and not along the west coast of our mainland, as heretofore supposed. Well, at least they know we're alive. Are you taking over the flight now? Yep, you bet I am. Carrington going on leave? No, not exactly. I believe I found a spot where he can be used to better advantage. He thought he had something all right when he stepped off the boat, and he did for about five minutes. <laughs> Good night. Kind of quiet, ain't he? Sure he's quiet, and he'll stay quiet. Imagine that dope thinking he's going to show everybody up with his new queen. <laughs> what a laugh. Hey, Slats, there's something kind of interesting. Percy, you look a little sunk. Anything wrong? All right. Don't pay any attention to me. Just on my regular inspection. Hey, something must be leaking. Listen, Percy. I'd be careful who I fool around with. I wouldn't try and take in too much territory. Why, only last night I... Target practice, eh? What's the matter, Sergeant? You got high blood pressure or something? It's a lucky thing for you you got the whole constabulary behind you. That's all I gotta say. What do you mean by that crack? Of course, if you was any part of a man, you wouldn't go around waving those stripes of yours under a guy's nose because you hold a grudge against him. You'd fight it out. That is, if you was a man. Well, come on, come on. There's nobody around. Wait a minute. Wait just a minute. Listen, soldier, I've been waiting for this for a long time. Come on! anything more despicable than a man who uses the protection of his rank to inflict physical punishment on another who is forbidden to retaliate? I have yet to discover it. What are you going to say for yourself? Will you see, sir, I... Silence! Will. And remove those stripes. You're back in the rear rank. May 
I speak to the captain, sir? Not now, not now. Yes, sir. It's about Miss Price. Uh, who? Miss Price. She said that you... Oh, oh yes, yes, sir. You two go ahead. I'll, I'll meet you in the office. Come along, Harrington. Well, what is it? Message for the captain, sir. Where did you get this? A lady gave it to me in town, sir. Yes, yes. Uh, Miss Price. Be determined, woman. Quite unfortunate. I'll say so, sir. What do you mean? Nothing, sir. What I was about to say was it's an unfortunate uh, coincidence that uh, just as this lady arrives, my duty should call me away. Yes, sir. What are you smiling at? Nothing, sir. Just a slight twitch I got. It gets away from me sometimes. Well, keep it under control. Yes, sir. You used to be a good sergeant before you took the fighting at the drop of the hat. Do you think you've got that out of your system? Oh, yes, sir. You saw for yourself I refused to fight with Sergeant Private Donovan only because I knew how the captain feels. Yes, yes, sir. Harrington, I'm giving you back your stripes. Yes, sir. I want you to report to Miss Price. Explain the circumstances of my absence. Show her every courtesy. You're representing me, understand. She's a very influential woman. Yes, sir. If anything important turns up, send me a wireless. I'll fly back in half an hour. See that my confidence is not misplaced. Yes, sir. you'll be ready for real construction in 60 days. Yes, with any kind of a break. When that new equipment gets out here, I'll double the force of labor and push right ahead. danger of going off your nut, are you, Mr. Walker? <laughs> well, I hope not. Oh, I chap at the bit now and then. But you natives seem gated for this sort of life. Drifting along, taking things as they come. But even we natives have our dreams. These are uncommissioned officers' quarters, and I'm on the way. You're the lowest form of animal life in the jungle. Why, if you were half a man, I'd... Ha-ha, <laughs> it's no use, sonny boy. Because I'm bound for town on a very delicate mission, which has to do with...
Sergeant Harrison, take charge of the fire fighting detail. Okay, sweetheart, you're elected. Here you are, kid. Here's that fever serum I promised you. Thanks, Sarge. I didn't even get my feet wet. You're all right, kid. It's Alan, Captain. Hit bad. He said he heard a noise on the bridge, challenged and fired. Then some guy shot him from the tool house. Take care of him, Sergeant. Yes. The bridge is gone, sir, but Alan got this fella. Call the underbrush for the rest of them. Yes. Take a spot. Take ten yards in and we'll search the bus. <laughs> What's so funny? You, you're all dressed up for a fire. Sorry, Captain. I, I was watching something in the brush. You better keep away from me in that bucket, McGee. You'll have to get your pretty uniform wet. Listen, you're talking to your superior officers, and I mean superior in every way. Yeah, that reminds me. We're out here in a nice, quiet place where nobody can hear you squeal. And if you'll just forget yourself long enough to get out from underneath those straps, I'll... What's your right? Please, I... Now, wait a minute. Just give me a little idea what's going on around here. You shouldn't be in such a hurry. You ain't got no place to go. Oh, please, it's nothing. You see, I... Good work, Harrington. There's the pain on the neck that's been causing all our trouble. What happened? Well, you see, I've had my eye on this guy for a long time. He tried to make me get away, and I headed him off. I lost him for a minute, and the next thing you know, he's beaten up on Horseshoe. Private Dunneman, sir. He pins one on his jaw and Horseshoe took the count. And you came along and, well, that's about all that happened. Look after Donovan. And say, get after that other thing we were discussing, Sergeant. Yes, sir. Come on, get up. And don't try any monkey business. Come on, sweetheart. Wake up. The Sandman's gone. What happened? Oh, nothing. Somebody just slapped you on the wrist, that's all. No permanent injury, I'm afraid. Come on, you toddle back to camp, because I'm on important business. What's the matter, George? Expecting somebody? No, that's the trouble. It's kind of late for you, ain't it? Well, we had a little fire back at the camp. Burned out the storeroom and most of the equipment. Break for the gang, eh? They'll have to lay off for a while. Yeah, until they get the stuff off the ship. Sergeant Donovan okay? Sergeant Donovan is only a memory, George. But if you're referring to Private Donovan, he's back there sitting out under the stars figuring out what a big shot he was. Gee, you mean he got your stripes back? That's right, George. Justice has triumphed. Helped along, of course, with a couple of little ideas of my own. Didn't you ever see a pith helmet before? Yeah, sure, but you, I mean... Oh, please don't frost them out. Sit down. Sit down. You deliver my note to Captain Hawthorne? Yes, ma'am. I'm sorry. He's not here. He had to go away. Go away? Well, he had to continue his inspection. I gave him a letter, and when he read it, he felt terrible. Oh, well, indeed. About having to go away, I mean. You see, it's part of his duty. Hmm. I presume he left someone in command during his absence. Yes, ma'am. He left me. 
instructions to be of any service to you and help you in every way possible. Oh, that was very thoughtful, and you are, uh... Sergeant Harrington, ma'am. Oh, then I can look to you, Sergeant. For anything you want. You know, uh, my requirements are very simple. You see, I'm an anthropologist. A very noble work, ma'am. You know, and all I want, all I really need is someone to accompany me, to assist me. You know, some of the places I want to see and visit would hardly be safe. Don't worry, you'll be safe any place. Under the protection of the constabulary. I'll attend to the necessary details. Just a moment, Private Donovan. I'd like a word with you, if you don't mind. How did you get here? You tell. You know everything. And who gave you permission to leave camp this time of the night? You know we can't have privates running around loose. But I won't report you. Oh, no. I don't hold a grudge like some people I know. I wouldn't even put you on kitchen police. I like you, Private Donovan. And I just heard of a nice, soft detail for you. Uh-huh. Remember being absent from camp without permission. Miss Price, this is Private Donovan. <laughs> you know, I'm never be crazy about that painting I bought her. Oh, look at that. Isn't that marvelous? You know, these natives possibly fascinate me down here. I think they're perfectly wonderful, don't you think? Oh, Stan, remind me to get that medicine. You know, they tell me to be wonderful. Rand Hattie, Jeff Lumbago, you know. He doesn't seem to be enjoying himself. Oh, that's only Horseshoe's way. He's having a time. He? Well, I'm kind of enjoying it myself. I hope Sam we suffer with Lumbeg. You take my grandfather on my mother's side. Now, he was... What's in there? Well, that, that's a dive just a cheap saloon. You don't want to go in there. Why, well, indeed I do. Those are the very places I do want to see. There won't be anybody in there this time of day. Well, you never can tell. Come on, we'll have a nice cool drink. It always makes me happy to see Horseshoe taken care of. I noticed that. Oh, I think it's just too, too quaint. Oh, oh, look at that one at the end. What a magnificent type. Well, now we'll have our drink. A nice cool lemonade. And we can study them at our leisure. What will it be? Two lemonades. Lemonade? Two lemonades and no crack. When I go for somebody, I go all the way. I'm sure you do. Of course, I could fix it up for you to get to the outpost, but... Well, I'd like us to be closer. I kind of like to feel that me doing something like this... Well, it sort of make a difference. I know it will, Slat. Now we're getting someplace. There's a pack train leaving for there in the morning. The sergeant in charge is a friend of mine. You shouldn't go up into that country alone. As a matter of fact, I don't see why you want to go at all. But you know that's the reason I came down here, to study the natives. I can tell you all about the natives. The information I require is scientific. I can't rely on someone who isn't trained. You don't have to tell me that, Marcia. To tell you the truth, well, I'm an anthropologist myself. You are? Uh-huh. But don't give me away. Oh, I won't. Where did you study? Where did you get your degree? I went to Harvard, Princeton, and I got my third degree in Leavenworth. Oh, that's very interesting. Goodbye, Flat. I'll see you tomorrow. Right. Oh, paradise time for Marsha and me. Sergeant Flat. Sergeant Flat. Hello. Hello, Wildcat. I'm sorry I got angry at the boat. Ah, oh, give me that applesauce. What's on your mind? Where's Horseshoe? You don't mean to say you ain't hurt. I hear nothing. What should I hear? Ah, oh, your old pal Horseshoe has gone the way of all flesh. What do you mean? He's in love. He's having a big romance. The talk of the town. You mean Miss Bradford? I should say not. Miss Price. And he spends all his time with her. I don't believe you. She's buying out all the shops. Looks to me like they're going to start housekeeping right away. I kill him. Ah, oh, no, you won't. Not when you see him together. They're just like a couple of lovebirds. Where is he? In the cafe. Go well, take a look for yourself. I don't think I've ever been so happy. I can't tell you how I feel. You've been such a comfort to me. Now I've explained about anthropology. Isn't it thrilling? Just think what a long way those men have traveled since they were curly-haired, gentle little angels in their mother's arms. And another thing, what I want to... 
What's the idea? You don't like her? No, I don't like her. Don't get fresh with her. should have happened. These men shall be punished. I promise you. I'm terribly sorry, Mr. Donovan. But what can I say? What can I do? It's okay. You're just coming along in time. I was just starting to get a little headache. It's my pleasure, even my duty, to save a hero like you, or a fate less ignominious. You may believe me, Sergeant Donovan. What do you mean by that? Nothing except we should do something about that cut on your head. A little stimulant? Some brandy, perhaps. Sure, Brandy. Oh, no. This is the time when a woman knows best. You come with me. Oh, gee, Miss Price. Now, listen, you need a woman's care. That's what you need. I know, but that guy's my pal. Oh, yeah, you have one. Right 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 Ever since we were recruits together in the Marines, Miss Price, he's been persecuting me, taking advantage of me, just driving me down all the time. Oh, now, please, you need rest. You have a slight concussion. Now listen, Miss Price. Now listen, don't argue with me. It's bad for you. I knew that Harrington person was an evil influence for you. He's the perfect Pithecanthropus type. The beetle browed thugs have been the cause of trouble ever since the beginning of time. I'll bet he's responsible for a sweet boy like you associating with that Lolana. All oh, Lolana's all right. Oh, you poor boy. It's all arranged. We're leaving by pack train tomorrow. What in the world happened? Why, we were set up on by thugs. Mr. Donovan defended my life. You stay here. We should put those towels on his head every few minutes. I have an important errand to attend to. And well, we'll see whether that Harrington can get away with this. Oh, you poor dear. Oh, it's you. I don't get a chance to be alone with you, uh, Miss Bradford. Marcia, I heard you say you were going out to camp. And I want you to know that, well, there's nothing better I'd like to do than to take care of you out there. You must be quiet. No, I gotta tell you. You know, it ain't often a guy like me gets a girl. Well, uh, I, I don't know how you say it. You know, I mean, I know enough about right dressing. And marching soldiers, marines, but uh, I oh. I don't think you should come in now. He says he doesn't feel like seeing anyone. I thought I had him safely out of it when I blocked Captain Hawthorne. But he was picked up in a brush. Why, Donovan and Harrington. 
However, our men were standing by last night, and I managed to escape. Hurried to Kahano, and... And here we are. Just in time, too. Walker's equipment moves out to him tomorrow by pack train. I've just discovered this equipment includes guns and ammunition to establish a constabulary strong point in the jungle. We've got to prevent the delivery of this equipment, or Walker's outpost will be impregnable. Undoubtedly, they'll take the trail along the river. Right there. Good. I'll get a message to the tribes to assemble at local flats. I'm almost glad we couldn't fly up now. This is more fun, don't you think? Yes, it'll give us something to look back on when we get old. After all, we're only young once, aren't we? That's true. I do wish Horseshoe could have been with us. Why, Miss Price. Oh, don't be silly. Not for me, for you. You do like him, don't you? Of course. I like Flat Harrington, too. A strange girl. Mm -hmm. Sooner or later, you'll have to make a choice. Miss Price has gone. Gone? When? Where? Yesterday. I do not know where. She left no address. Well, that's odd. I can't understand it. Well, you seem to have made an amazing recovery, Donovan. Recovery, sir? Yes, I expected to find you at death's door. that all about? Well, uh, you see, sir, it's a long story. I, uh... All right, never mind. I'll hear about that tomorrow. Where's Miss Price? Oh, she went with the pack train, sir. Her and Miss Bradford. Pack train? What is this? Who's Miss Bradford? Why, she and Miss Price wanted to go into the back country so they could study the natives, sir. And who gave them permission, if I'm not too inquisitive? Well, I guess it must have been Sergeant Harrington, sir. Oh, he did. You come along with me, Donovan. Yes, sir. Hello, Stu. What do you want to see me about? Read this. What is this, a gag? You ought to know, Sergeant. I mean, private. What have you been pulling off? Who, me? Why, nothing. You sure? Well, pretty sure. Yeah, I thought it was something like that. I'm sorry, Slats. You'll have to stick around your quarters. Sergeant Denovan. Well, how do you like that?
I'd slap you. I'd come to help. You're in a jam. The skipper is sore because you sent my girl on that pack train. What are you kicking about? I sent mine back, too, didn't I? What? I sent Marsha with Miss Price, didn't I? Why, you poor sap, you never see the day that Marsha... What? Jenny! Hey, Stu, Jenny! Hey, Stu, Jenny! Hey! Hey! Pack thing has been held up on Moku Flats. I beat it when the natives swooped down. Well, what about the women? Well, they're with the company. They hold up in the tulips. Well, are they all right? Well, I don't know. There's a bunch of natives, but the firing was kind of dying out. Hello. Come on, guy. Get Captain Hawthorne. I'm doing my best, Sarge. Stu, i got to have that plane. Go away. You know, but my girlfriend's with that pack train. What? I'm the level. Marsha Bradford's with that pack train. Listen, sonny boy, i got a lot of things to do. You go back to your quarters. When I need you, I'll send for you. Until then, you're still under arrest. Any action? No, not yet. Hello? Remember, you're still under arrest. Yeah, well, just the same. I'm going to show you whose girl she is. Get me your passport. In 
you imagine. Being engaged to Walker all this time. She was just billing us up so she could surprise him. We're nothing but a couple of blowed up suckers. Yeah, we'll never get out of this one. I broke a rest. You cracked up a ship. And... I cracked up a ship? Why, if it wasn't for you trying to be a hero with... Go on, sucker. Say it. With my girl. Dress for parade and stand by. Skipper's orders. This is it, pal. We're going to be drummed out. With utmost disregard for their lives, Anakin is the noblest instincts of heroism. Destroyed the notorious bandit and revolutionary leader, Mononui. Removing the greatest single menace to the welfare of our island, to the lives and happiness of its citizens. Take off your head. What's this about Moon and Nui? Guy's crazy, I guess. He's dead? Hey! They're all crazy. Yeah. There's one thing I want to know. Remember when I was fighting with that Morton guy and you shot him? Yeah. How did you know which one of us you were going to hit? I didn't. 